It's the National Football League on EA Sports. And up next, we'll see Jalen Hurts. He's your top dog in the league this season, ranking first in passing yards. It's the Eagles and the Commanders under the lights on Thursday night. It is time for football as we welcome you to another edition of the NFL on EA Sports. Thanks for having us in. Chill in the air. Folks are bundled in the seats and on the field like Tariko Greg Olson. A bit warmer up here in the booth. These cold weather games, Greg, always interesting to watch how it impacts the players down on the field. Absolutely. And these nights are kind of tricky, Mike, right? It's how much do you want to spend preparing for it, thinking about it, and really letting it almost become like a mental factor leading into the game? But you also have to be prepared. What are you going to wear? How are you going to keep yourself not only warm, but then be able to go out there and perform and be functional, and you're not running around with a parka on. So it is a very delicate balance between being comfortable and being functional, and the teams that handle those conditions, especially in pregame, tend to have the advantage once the game's kicked off. And he'll work this one past the 25 to right about the 28-yard line. The Commanders come out with the man they hope leads them into their new era. Jaden Daniels, the number two overall pick in this past draft from LSU. Greg, this is the man who won the Heisman Trophy with the Tigers in Baton Rouge a year ago. Last week was really all about the turnovers. He had some success throwing for three touchdowns. At times, the offense was really clicking and had some nice rhythm, but he has to eliminate the turnovers. Anytime that a defense can take the ball away, their odds of winning the game significantly increase. So coming into this game, can he continue to keep the good, continue to trust that passing game, to score points and be aggressive on offense, and at the same time, eliminate the bad? That's going to be the key today. And if he can do that, man, this is as good an offense as we've seen in this league. A first set of downs to work with. It is first down and 10. Now, whistles here. Looks like one of the defenders got a head start. Encroachment defense. So, a lot of options on the table now. It's first and five. Off the play fake. Here's Daniels. That one complete to Brian Robinson. And they have the first down. So, they get the completion on first and five. And now, they'll set up first and ten. Quick throw here is complete. And he's close to another first down as he's brought down just shy of the marker. A good spot here, second and a yard. Play action. Here's Daniels. And the rookie gives himself up there at the end. That's a sign of a guy who's learned it quick, picking up the first down. I love this call, Mike. Second down and short. One of the best downs in football to take a shot. Give credit to the defense. They were ready for it. But a nice job by the quarterback. Realize that's over the middle and intercepted. Picked off by Sidney Brown. And the Eagles are going to take possession here at their own six. I'm not going to sit here, Mike, and say there's ever a good time to throw a red zone interception. But in this case, it's the first half. You have the rest of the game to get yourself back down here in the red zone and make up for that miscue because next time they get down here, they got to be a lot more careful when they decide to air it out. To the air right away is Hurts. That's caught Saquon Barkley. And he is taken down enough before they're able to get it out of danger up past the 25. These are the chunk plays they thought they could get here against this pass defense. They thought the passing game favored their offense in this matchup, and I think we can expect this to be the case the rest of the game. A 
on first down, it's Hurts. He'll get this complete. That's A.J. Brown. It's a pickup of 13 yards. Good for an Eagles first down. A tight end in motion now. First carry for Saquon Barkley. And he'll take this ahead to the 43-yard line. The veteran Bobby Wagner in there on the stop. Here's second and six. Once again, it's Barkley. And he'll take this up, working towards the first down mark. He gets five, but is just a little short of the first down. Here's third down and a few inches. Here's Gainwell. And he's going to have an Eagles first down. At least at first glance, they'll spot the football just beyond the marker. They find a way to convert on third and inches. I think everybody in the stadium saw that run coming, Mike, but good luck stopping it. I mean, all he really had to do was just fall forward, and it would be enough to pick up the first down. A throw right side is intercepted. Picked off by the former Wolverine, the rookie from Michigan. You know, Mike, what I think is interesting is we had a chance to sit down with this young player this week leading up to today's game, and... He kind of felt to both of us that he had a little bit of a chip on his shoulder. He fell to the second round on draft night. In his mind, he thought he was a first-rounder. But I'll tell you what, whatever round he was drafted in, if he keeps making plays like this, there's going to be a lot of teams who are going to be kicking themselves for skipping over. Oh, the struggles continue. Another interception. And he's going to give his offense a short field to work with as they look for their first points of the game. It's not often, Mike, that everything breaks right for this type of return off of an interception. But, boy, is it beautiful when it does. I mean, look at the defenders just flip around and become blockers, trying to spring their guy to the house. Great athleticism, some great moves on his part. I mean, he's going to have some of his offensive teammates looking over their shoulder for their position. They'll come up first and 10 at the 40. A run with Gainwell. Man. And they bring him down inside the 25-yard line. So they come to the line for first down and 10. From the shotgun, it's Hurts. He's going to tuck it and go. You know, Mike, nice job here by the quarterback just understanding on these early downs, you just don't want to go backwards. So he's able to avoid the negative play, pick up a little bit, and mostly avoid the sack. Hurts will work here from the pistol. He's got it at the seven, and he'll be taken down. Sudden change. So you find yourself defensively a little bit on your heels. Your offense just turned the ball over, and now you've got to go out and make a stand. Well, so far, this offense has moved the ball pretty quickly, but can they dig in and at least force a field goal? Only a yard there. Tackle made at the five. Here comes second and goal. A second down throw for Hertz. To the goal line and in. Devontae Smith. Touchdown, Philadelphia. It's his fourth touchdown of the year. And this is what good offenses in the NFL do, Mike. It's the ability to bounce back, even if the onset of the game doesn't go exactly according to plan. Everybody wants to take their opening possession and go down there and come away with a touchdown. But it's not always going to be perfect. You turn it over on possession one. What are you going to do in response on possession two? Well, we just got our answer, and they took it down for six.
So following the score, here comes Elliott to kick this one away. This is short kick, returnable from the 13. And he'll be brought down past 25. Decent field position to start this drive. Here comes the Washington offense now. They get set to take over. They trail here by a touchdown as this drive will start with a first down. First carry for the versatile Austin Eckler. They converge on him quickly. He'll only get a couple. Jalen Carter out of Georgia makes the tackle. Look him up on a second down and eight. Working out of the gun, it's Daniel. A very quick throw there, but not on the same page with his target. That's incomplete. They need eight as they come up for third down. Operating from the gun, it's Daniels. He's got his man. Right side, it's complete. And they will bring him down on the other side of midfield. This is clinic tape for any young wide receiver out there watching this guy run routes. He has the defender thinking everything is a go ball. Attack him vertically, and then when you get to your route depth, you stick that foot in the ground, you break in, balls on time, results in a nice first down pickup. Here's a second and six. From the shotgun, it's Daniel. That's taken in, it's Austin Eckler. They'll get maybe three out of that one, and it's gonna set up third down. Defensive coordinators preach all the time, play pass defense with vision. It's exactly the case here. They're able to rally to the ball, keep that to a short game. They'll come up to third and three. From the shotgun on third down, Daniel. That's into the hands of Zacchaeus. So a big... Third down hookup takes us to the break. It's the Eagles with the early advantage. And we're back in Philly in a moment. Set to go now on first and 10. Through the contact, it's incomplete. What a good job defensively to meet him just as the ball was arriving. And it'll be second down. Out of the gun, they give it to Eckler. And he is crushed in the backfield. Defenders firing through. Shut it down right away for a loss of yard. Third and long, and here's Daniel. Incomplete. Terry McLaurin, the intended target on that one. And it's going to lead to a fourth down. Sly's kick is good. And the Commanders are on the board. It's seven to three. And I can tell you firsthand, Mike, when you find yourself trailing in a game, you don't feel very good about coming away with field goals. But in this case, it does get them a little bit closer and cut into this deficit. Now return, coming from the seven. He'll work his way across the 25-yard line. Jalen Hurts and the Philadelphia offense set to take over once more. And he is in the midst of an MVP-type season. NFL leader in passing yardage, and he's up over 3,000 now for the season. Now we'll get a pause here. An injured player, and it's A.J. Brown who was hurt on that last play. Athletic training staff looking at him, so we'll step aside. We'll try again. It's second and ten. A shotgun snap now to Hurts. There he goes again. And he's going to get this to the 37-yard line.
first down. And he'll be brought down just shy of midfield. These curl routes, he's been running these routes since he was a young kid in Pop Warner football, and I like to call it pulling the string. You've got the defender thinking you're going downfield, and you stick that foot in the ground, work back to the quarterback, friendly to the ball, and really nice job picking up the first down. 19 more on that one, and another first down. When the offense broke the huddle in a line, Mike, I think everybody in the stadium knew this was going to be a run, but the offense is kind of saying, okay, line up. I dare you to try to stop us, and right now this defense has no answers. First and ten. Operating from the gun, here's Hurts. And try as he might, he will not get back to that line of scrimmage. They will force him out for a loss. Mike, these are the plays that on the stat sheet, the offensive lineman, look at the quarterback a little sideways. He has a chance to just throw that ball out of bounds, but instead, he takes it out of bounds himself, and that goes on the stat sheet as a sack. Nowhere to go. He is taken down. Now whistles and a timeout. Work to do following the sack. It is third and long. That's complete to his big tight end, Dallas Goddard. I think there's one of those plays that when the ball carrier watches this back in the film room tomorrow, he's going to be a little frustrated with himself. If he could just have made that one guy miss, he picks up the first down. Instead, he gets brought down short of the sticks. And now they have a fourth down decision. Now. And this is what you want. I mean, you clearly have the advantage, but you want to continue to apply pressure. Can you score every time you get the ball? They're able to do that here. They tack on three and extend their lead. And back to work goes Elliott after making the field goal. He'll send this one away. He'll start at the four. And he'll be brought down just beyond the 25-yard line. The commander's offense back onto the field for their next possession. Just the lone field goal for them so far. Down 10-3 in this one. And they'll start first and 10. And no place to go, no place to hide. He's taken down behind the line. Last play went the wrong way. It sets up second and long. It's second down and 12. Now Daniels. He'll get that to Zacchaeus. And a good job rallying to the football. Holding just a gain of a yard and sets up third down. Throwing now. Daniel. He'll be forced to just throw that one away. It's incomplete. So the drive will end there. And on comes Press play to punt on fourth down. Yeah! And he's going to lose yardage on this return. Tried to retreat, but is covered up. Here comes the Philly offense now as they make their way back onto the field. They lead by a touchdown as this drive begins with first and ten. Come to the line now on second and two. They'll run here with Gainwell. And he'll get a couple of yards, and that's good enough for the first down. This is a situation that play callers love to be in, Mike. They have all their options on the table. Second and short. Play action pass. You can run. In this case, they choose to keep it on the ground, play it safe, pick up the first down. The defense all over this one. They get him behind the line of scrimmage. A loss of a couple. Here's a second and 12. Off the play fake. Hurts. This one complete to Campbell. And he'll be taken down, but they are in business inside the 30-yard line. Defensively, you put so much effort about defending the middle of the field. You know that's the valuable real estate every offense is looking to attack. But what does that do, Mike? It makes you a little susceptible to the throws outside the numbers, and it leads to a chunk play.
Here's first and ten. A pistol snap back to Hertz. Quick throw taken in. Here's second and three to go. On the ground, Gainwell. And he's trying to turn the quarter, but will not do it. Brought down behind the line. I'd like to see that running back be a little bit more decisive with his cut, Mike. You can see he was a little hesitant. And once you're late making that decision, you just kind of get strong laterally. Great job there by the defense, and he has no choice but to take that loss. Third and five. To throw is Hurts. Got his man at the six. And he's very close to a touchdown. They mark him just shy of the goal line. That is a gain of 20. And what a chance now. First and goal coming up. So got it. The tight end comes in motion. He'll try to run this one in. And he's not going to get in. In fact, he'll lose yardage. They push him backwards. In these goal-to-go situations backed up on your own goal line, Mike, what they teach the defense is it's your job to establish a new line of scrimmage. And that's exactly what they did here. Watch the push they get. The offensive line goes backwards, and they take the ball carrier down for a loss. Just trying to avoid the rush there. He's hit as he threw in the pass is incomplete. This defense holding tight. Now from the three-yard line, they'll try to stop third and goal. It is brought in in the end zone. A.J. Brown. Touchdown, Eagles. Tight spaces down there. Things happen quick. Greg, a quick decision and great execution for the score. You're exactly right, Mike. Down here this close to the goal line, everybody's clock has to speed up. Not only the quarterback processing to get the ball out of his hand, but you have to win as a receiver quickly and give the quarterback somewhere to go with the ball. It was that quickness at the line of scrimmage that led to that touchdown. The extra point by Elliott is good. And the Eagles move out in front by the score of 17 to 3. So following the score, here comes Elliott to kick this one away. This one taken at the 7. He'll get this up to the 28-yard line. Nice place for the drive to start. Now the return man is a bit slow getting up after that kick. Halftime is looming, so the athletic training staff can get a chance to look him over during the break. Now Daniels throwing on first and 10. And that ball incomplete. I think the biggest issue and why they find themselves trailing in this game, Mike, has really just been the ups and downs of this passing game. And sometimes he's highly accurate and efficient. But at others, he just misses too many easy throws. Question is, are they going to be able to overcome this quarterback inconsistency and pull this game out? Well, can't afford another incompletion here. Quickly, it is third and ten. On the give, it's Eckler. way now as he's on to punt for the second straight drop and that is good coverage by the punt team as they meet him and bring him down 
The Eagles offense going to take over here in the last minute of this first half. The lead is a couple of touchdowns as this drive kicks off first and ten. Now, Hurts. That's a short one. Caught by Goddard. And that keeps him ahead of schedule. That's a first down completion of seven yards. And this is where the versatility of the tight end position really starts coming into play. Not only do they have to line up with their hand on the ground in line, but they can occasionally split out in the slot. And man, they're too fast for linebackers, and a lot of times they're too big for defensive backs. I know it fell for an incompletion, but pretty impressive. He was able to push that ball really far downfield as he was being hit. Really says a lot about the arm strength that this quarterback has. Now Gainwell. And now we'll get a late timeout coming in the waning moments of this second quarter. So on fourth down, they'll call on Braden Mann to punt. The commanders have Jamison Crowder ready to return. Uh, but he cannot get away. Great job down there to hold him to a short return. So we've reached halftime here on our Thursday nighter to start the new NFL week as we get you down to Florida, Orlando specifically, where the coach is, Jonathan Coachman, has our EA Sports halftime report. All right, Mike, thanks very much. We'll get back to you and Greg in just a moment. But first, let's give everybody a look at what's coming up later this weekend around the NFL. In the early window on Sunday, one of the best of the best happens up in Pittsburgh. A big one for the Steelers as they'll take on the visiting Baltimore Ravens. Good games in the late afternoon as well. One being out in Santa Clara, where it'll be the 49ers taking on the Seattle Seahawks. And then finally, a good one on Sunday Night Football between the Indianapolis Colts and the New York Jets. We just watched a fine first half out of the mobile quarterback, that's Jalen Hurts. He fired his guys into the lead with two first-half touchdown passes as they were Pretty looking like a well first half. machine we'll see if in the first half play. changes for the next 30 minutes or more as this second half gets underway. Now an opening has the 30. And the kicking team right there, stopping him before he can get to the 15-yard line. The Eagles offense ready to get going again. They'll have it first in this third quarter. They'll see if they can put something together here, beginning with first and ten. He's going to let this one go deep. And that ball out of reach toward the sideline. It'll be an incompletion. They'll try again here, second and ten. Man in motion is Smith. Using the jet sweep for the fake, they run it up the middle. And the defense all over this one. They knock him down, it'll go down as a loss of two. On third down, it hurts. And they will continue to go backwards. He's taken down for a sack. Really nice job here in the second half for this defense to come out and make a play. That last sack's gonna go a long way to getting off the field getting the offense the ball back and see if they could chip away. A fair catch called and taken right at the 30-yard line. Here comes the number two overall pick, Jaden Daniels, with the rest of the commander's offense. And this defense has really had their way so far, intercepting him twice, forced into a number of bad throws, and generally the D has just made it tough to operate all game long. They'll come up here, first and ten. The drive starts with a carry by Eckler. And the woes in the running game continue. They're going to subtract yards there. A loss on the play. Dotson, the man in motion. They run it once more with Eckler. I fumble the football. And this is taken in by the defense. And as you can see with that fumble, Mike, it really just goes back to the fundamentals of how they're taught to carry the ball. And they talk about the points of pressure. And the biggest thing, really, Mike, is you want the front tip of the ball 
the part where your fingers cover, to always be higher than the back tip of the ball. So often you see that front tip go down, and it makes it so much easier for that defender to kind of rake it out. So you want pressure against the outside of the ball, both tips, the inside of the ball, and then keep that front point up. A run now on second down. Only a couple on that one. It'll set up third down. Hurts. And this ball incomplete on third down. On fourth down, here comes Jake Elliott for the Philadelphia field goal. He is two for two. That kick is good. And the Eagles will extend their lead. So anytime an offense comes off the field after settling for three, you always have to take the good with the bad. In order to get down there in field goal range, you had to do something positive to move the ball. But at the same time, how are we going to be able to finish these drives and convert for six the next time we get down there? Oh, he's got room past the 30. And they'll be set up well as he is past the 35-yard line. The commander's offense getting those helmets back on, ready to head out for their next possession. Let's go back and scroll through some of their drives. One theme, Greg, going to keep emerging throughout, too many turnovers. Yeah, I think it's been a combination of just carelessness, right? Some sloppy play offensively that has caused some of them. But also, let's give some credit to the defense. I think in a lot of the cases, they're also forcing these takeaways, punching the ball out, going up for interceptions. They've been in the right place at the right time. So combination of really good defense at times and at times really bad offense. Again, it's Eckler. And he'll take this up past the 40, a pickup of five. Here now, third and five. Off the play fake, here's Daniels. They'll be forced to just throw that one away. It's incomplete. So defensively, there's always the initial pass coverage plan. And then when that breaks down and the quarterback goes into scramble mode, how fast can you then move on to the second phase and what they call plaster, meaning find the nearest receiver and almost play a man-to-man. -man. And it's exactly what they did here. And there was nowhere for the ball to go. And he's forced to just throw it away. And he'll get a few yards on this return up past the 15-yard line. The Eagles offense ready to get back to work. The lead is 17 as they try to maybe pull away in this one. It is first and 10. And he'll get this past the 25, out to the 27. A pickup of seven. Second down and three. Hurts. A throw here, right side, falls incomplete. He was looking for his tight end, Dallas Goddard, that time. And third down coming up. Man in motion is Smith. Third and short, and Hurts will throw. Now a deep ball looking for Brown. And this is going to be incomplete. That's great work to get in there and make things difficult defensively, setting up a fourth down. Here comes the Eagles punt team. A fair catch. He's going to call it and take it right around his own 30-yard line. The commander's offense ready to take over possession of the football. The deficit is 17, so they got to start cutting into it soon. See if it starts here. First and 10. Ben Sinnott was the intended receiver. And it'll bring up second down. Well, it's pretty clear the main reason why they find themselves trailing in this game, Mike, has really just been the inefficiency of this offense and primarily out of the quarterback position. I mean, to complete less than half of your pass attempts, it just makes it very hard to compete at a high level consistently in the NFL. And if they want to find themselves having any chance of getting back into this game and winning this one, he's going to have to get a lot better with the ball. Third and six. To throw is Daniels. 
and that is incomplete. Missed opportunities like these are a big reason why they find themselves down double digits here in the third quarter, Mike. Points on this possession could have gone a long way towards making this game competitive, but instead, poor execution, especially in the passing game, and it's another wasted drive. And he'll get forward a few yards on the return. And that's where the offense will take over. The Eagles offense and their running back set to go once more. They'll start it here with a first and ten. The drive will start on the ground. He'll struggle to get back to the line of scrimmage. Maybe he gets a yard out of that one. It's second down. one out to Smith and he'll be taken down up at the 40 yard line Mike think back to our conversation during the break we've kind of both asked ourselves are they content with this double digit lead do they come out and play conservative here in the second half well it took exactly one play to get our answer they continue to get chunk plays like this this thing could get out of reach fast they'll break the huddle coming up now for first and ten Hurts working in the pistol. Short pass taken in by the tight end. And no chance to turn and go. That one good for just a couple. Second down and eight. Going back in the backfield. He'll get the carry here. He'll get about three. And that's going to lead to third down. On third down, here's Hurts. Open man, A.J. Brown's got it. He's got a touchdown on the books from earlier, and that catch gets him a first down. These hitch routes, they're usually just designed to pick up a few safe yards. An easy completion, get some rhythm for your quarterback. However, this time, he's able to make a little magic happen after the catch and turn it into something much bigger than even they were probably anticipating. Receiver just finds himself in a really nice groove, and there's these weird times in the game, Mike, where it just seems like every ball comes your way, every play they call you're wide open, and you just... Oh, in trouble. Down he goes. That is Jonathan Allen, the big defensive tackle, in there for the sack. Third and long for Hurts. That's complete to his running back, Kenneth Gainwell. Really nice play recognition there by the defense. They sensed the quarterback had nowhere to go downfield, and that ball was going to be checked down. The moment that ball hit the running back's hands, there was nowhere to go. And no return forthcoming. It's a touchback, and will come out to the 20-yard line. So three quarters have come and gone. We'll have more Thursday Night Football after this. The drive begins at the 20. Here's first and 10. Operating from the gun, it's Daniels. And he's brought down after a gain of six on first down. now on second and four. Working out of the gun, it's Daniels. And he's going to be brought down up past the 45. 
And this is a tricky part of the game for any defense. You find yourself protecting a late lead, and the age-old question is, do you remain aggressive? Do you try to just keep the ball from being thrown over your head and make everything be tackled and played in front of you? That's what every defensive coordinator struggles with, so they can't get too soft here as they try to hold on to this lead here late. To the air again is Daniels. That's McLaurin open on the left side. Second time they've hooked up on this drive. This one good for 12 and a first down. Daniels going to throw again. That's into the hands of Zacchaeus. And they're going to move this ball inside the 25-yard line. Following the completion, we'll get a stoppage here for an injured player. The training staff going to look, and we'll step out for a moment. They run. Eckler. And he's going to be brought down just outside the 10-yard line. So, not quite first and goal. It's first and 10. They're pretty close. A throw left side, caught by Sinnott. And he's brought down after a gain you know, of six on first down. Often. You only get a one-yard buffer from the line of scrimmage for these old linemen. That time he strayed a little too no far, down. and it draws the flag. Dotson, the man in motion. They run this straight ahead with Eckler. And that won't help a great deal. Just a short game there. It's second and goal. So they go backwards on first down. Here's second and 13. On the handoff, this is Eckler. And he gets this one down inside the 10, but it will set up third and goal. On third down, they'll throw with Dick. That's three. Third time tonight he's been intercepted. Picked off by the Kobe D. So you find yourself entering the red zone. Mike, it's hard to not start envisioning scoring a touchdown. Well, that interception, it changes everything. This is a huge missed opportunity. You have to capitalize and find a way to hang six on the defense. Here's Gainwell. And he'll work forward for about three. It's second down. A run with Gainwell. And that's well read by the defense. Knocked backwards. He's back at his own nine-yard line. The speed and the get-off by the big interior defensive tackle, Mike. I mean, he got through there so fast, he almost took the handoff himself. This one into the hands of Brown. And a good job here defensively. They did not let him get away. He's well short of the first down mark. He's got his man. It's Smith. And he's going to have an Eagles first down. Well-designed play to pick up 16 and move the chains. Another really nice throw right there. And as you can see the numbers he's been able to put up here, I'm a little surprised, if I'm being honest, Mike, with just how easy it seems to have been. It just seems like he's made every right decision every time that he's decided to throw the ball. So, first and 10 now from the 30. From the gun, here's a handoff and a minimal gain here, only to about the 31. Here's second and nine. 
back to the ground. He'll get it again. Trying to find some place to go, but nothing developing. Tackled behind the line. It's a loss of one. Here's a third and ten. A shotgun snap now to Hertz. Going for it all. That one is batted away. Incomplete. No separation that time. Tightly defended. It brings up fourth down. Here comes the Eagles punchy. As he'll come on to kick for the fifth time here tonight. The commander's offense about ready to take over once more. They'll start out first down and ten. From the shotgun, it's Daniel. A dive and a catch. Incredible. So they come to the line for first down and ten. That's caught by Eckler. And they're going to move this ball inside the 25-yard line. On first down, Daniel. Oh, after the catch, he's hit, and the ball is out. And the defense has it. Mike, we hear that term run after catch so often, and sometimes people miss that there's kind of a middle phase. There's the catch. But before it turns into a run, you have to secure the ball as a ball carrier, right? It needs to be put away, properly held, points of pressure, front tip up against your body. All of that is kind of taken for granted. Catching it is just step one. You've got to secure the ball before you become a runner. Here's a second and nine. They'll stick with him again. And he spins his way into extra yard. Going to be a pickup of nine. A good run there. They'll spread the formation here. Let's see what the call is on third and inches. Oh, he's got a man. That's caught by Brown. And he will have the first down. The drive will continue after a pickup of eight. Similar to a tight end, the slot receiver is often considered the safety blanket. He makes all the difficult catches, tends to be a little bit more around the line of scrimmage, and so far today, he's certainly lived up to that reputation. Every team makes an emphasis on winning first down, but as a defense, when you're able to take them back for a loss, second and long, you can really become more of a pass-centric defense and really tips the scales into your favor. Now, after the run, we get a stoppage for an injured player. That is a worrisome development here late in the game. No help from those last two runs. It is third and 13. Now, a deep ball looking for Brown. That is incomplete. Well read that time defensively, making it difficult downfield. And that's going to bring up a fourth down. The visitor's offense makes their way back out to the field for their next possession. They try to establish some tempo as they start this one with first and ten. Daniels now going to look to throw. And he can't hang on through the contact. It's incomplete. What a good job defensively to meet him just as the ball was arriving. And it'll be second down. They'll throw with Daniel. Now pass deep for McLaurin. And he's got it. And he'll be taken down at the 10-yard line. Now it is first and goal. Throwing is Daniels. And this is going to be a touchdown. It's too little too late. They do get a bit closer as they score here in the final minute of play. What separates the really good quarterbacks from everybody else in the National Football League, Mike, is not only ability to process, but the ability to process 
quickly under pressure, and I think that's exactly the case here. He's able to go through Personal his progression, foul. find Rubbing his target in the end zone, Defense. and then deliver that ball on time, accurately, and the result is a touchdown. Looking to double up here, score the touchdown. They want more. They're lining up for an onside kick. Well, we knew, Mike, this was going to take a miracle. All they needed to do was recover this, score, recover another one, score again. Unfortunately, that's not going to happen, and this game's all but over. Now a first and ten from the 38-yard line. They'll drop to throw. Now a deep ball looking for Brown. That'll be batted away, incomplete. Hovered very strong defensively. It's second down. Hurts to throw. He's going to dial up another deep ball. That'll be incomplete. And now we are down to likely just one more play. One final chance for this defense. And here's third down. Here we go. One final play. He's going to look downfield once again. And the final throw of the game winds up incomplete. And that will do it. This one comes to an end. So it's a win here for the Eagles. They get the victory away from home in the division. So, so valuable. And they'll get another shot in their place next time later in the season. of the NFL on EA Sports. The Eagles are winners, as we say, so long from South Philly.